What's up guys? On this video, we're going back to a call where I went to, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago. He wasn't cooling. He had 5kW worth of heat running with the AC. And <clears throat> I've been under the weather. Y'all gonna have to excuse me. But uh, my voice sounds a little funny because I got I got strep throat. Um, he had 5kW worth of heat running with the air. Rather than fix the issue, he chose just to disconnect that particular heat strip and uh, come back at a later date and fix the problem because I gave him a quote to change out the sequencers. It's a mobile home. I gave him a quote to change out the sequencer. That was stuck. And some of the wires were charring. They were burning. Replace those. And he didn't want to do it right then and there. So we unplugged the heat strip that was running to get the air running. And now he has called and he is ready to fix the problem. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to replace the sequencers. Uh, I think it's a 10 kW. It might be a 15, but we're going to replace both sequencers. I think there's two. And, uh, replace some of those burnt some of those wires that are charring and burning and hopefully we can get some film on it
making a jumper for the 24 volts. This one doesn't have the built-on welded bar.
Put on heat. Turn it up. There we go. Got 10 kW on that line. We should have five on this one. Not yet. There it is. Five there. Ten there. Now we're going to run the AC and make sure we have no heat. All right, go to uh, turn the temperature down. All right, turn the AC on. No heat with the AC. Two point six amps, no amps. We're good to go. This one's fixed. All right, guys, we're done over here. That probably wasn't the most interesting video. I didn't get to talk much. Plus, I don't feel like talking a lot with my throat the way it is. It hurts to talk a little bit. But uh, I knew what was wrong and what needed to be done because I remember this job and he just came up with the money to do it. So, and I also remember now that I'm here that I ran a leak detector on his evaporator coil and he needs an evaporator coil. So that'll be the next thing. But I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was better than nothing. Just changed out a quick sequencer and got his heat working and the sequencer was stuck so the minute you'd apply power to the furnace the, the, the 5kw would come on with the blower so anyway it's done and he's got air and heat that's not running together and he's happy really nice guy i wish all customers were like him just very grateful and uh, doesn't complain about the price. You know, and, and I charge a fair price. I didn't rip him off. But some people still complain. Just a very, very nice guy. I wish all customers were like him. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for y'all today. Uh, I'm going to be helping my dad the rest of the week, probably. It's slow here for me. You know, I don't have 40 years of clientele. I have three and a half years of clientele going on four years of clientele so it's a different ball game my dad has a shit ton of clientele which my business is growing i'm not complaining but we always get really really slow in the winter but my dad's heart condition is not allowing him to do some of the things that he used to do so i'm going to be with him for the rest of the week working and i'll try to get some film on some of those jobs 
Thank you all for watching. We'll catch you all on the next one.